Hello guys, Sam here at Lancaster Automart. Got this beautiful Renault Captur to bring you today. Anyone in need of a nice little family car will be perfectly suited for this one. This is the 1.5 diesel and it's the Energy Dynamic Nav Spec, which means it's got loads and loads of stuff on it. Registered in 2016 on a 66 reg, as you can see. Very, very cheap at 9265, so it won't cost you a fortune. It's done just over 16,000 miles two previous keepers and it's the manual diesel with a service history as well which is fantastic it means we know how reliable it's going to be it'll give you check this out 83.1 miles per gallon or up to which means you'll barely ever be at the fuel pump with this one maybe even once a year depending on your mileage not to 60 or 13.1 seconds i know it's not huge but let's be honest you're not buying this car because it's not to 60 in five seconds you're buying it because it's got loads of space loads of kit it's cheap to run and it's a perfect little family car with a five star safety rating this one's top speed is 106 miles per hour, as long as you don't get caught. It gives you 90 brake horsepower. I've got loads and loads of stuff to show you on it, so let's start at the front. Daytime running lights, front fogs at the bottom there with a bit of chrome accent, looking fantastic. 17 inch silver alloy wheel, which looks really good. Black mirror caps, which look really good against the, um, against the little bumper splitter at the bottom there. Now let's move around to the back as you can see it's got the little blue button on the door which means it's keyless entry which is fantastic. Moving around to the back you've got parking sensors you can't really see it on the video but trust me they're there so dead easy to park it even me mum could park this one sorry mum. Loads of space in there guys definitely enough space in there for the kids when they're doing your editing or your nan when she gets a bit sassy ball bags or dead bodies I don't know what you guys are doing. Bit of space under there for toolkits and extra little bit of storage when you're in your sketchier parts of town which is good. Isofix top tevers on the back there as you can see which is fantastic. Let me move round to the back. There you go, really nice uh, storage tensioners here which are fantastic. You've then got cup holder in the middle there, door cards, electric, window adjusters, you've also got the speaker integrated into there. Nice cloth interior as well which is really comfortable loads of space in there those seats are pushed quite back because i've only just photoed the car this little button here is for the keyless entry so you press that that's just locked it up press it again that unlocks it for me which is fantastic nice door card there full electric windows bit of chrome on there as well dashboard looks nice and sharp a little bit of storage in the top of the dash nice touch screen display there as well armrest in the center which is ideal nice cloth comfortable gray and black seats really nice let me jump into it, see what you guys think for uh, for spec. Okay, so in this one, guys, we've got one of these little card keys here. That pops in just down here. And then it's foot on the clutch. Press the start button. That turns it on for us. There we go. Okay, so as you can see there, 16,201 miles. You've got a bit of uh, digital sort of display here for the speedometer. Rev counter, fuel release. Uh, it's not fuel release, but yeah, fuel measure there. You've also then got a bunch of information. So down here, it'll give you a bit of information about servicing and stuff like that. At the top, it gives you information about miles per gallon and who's not wearing a seat belt, temperature, all that sort of stuff. So you've got all sorts of stuff built into there. As I move back, classic Renault steering wheel, nice and round. You've got different options on the steering wheel, so it's multifunctional. So on this side, you've got cruise control. On this side, you've also got voice commands and stuff like that as well. One, two stalks there. So the top one's for your wipers, which are automatic. That one there's for your stereo system, picking up and putting down your telephone, that sort of stuff. On this side, you've got your headlights, which are automatic as well, so nice and easy to control that. Down here, you've got options for the, um, the stop start, is this one. You've then got options for the light cluster brightness and also your fog lights as well. So all sorts of stuff on there. Into the center, well actually start up here. Yeah. A little bit of storage in, oh, there you go, in the middle. A little bit of storage there, guys, which is ideal for sunglasses or, I don't know, quids, pound notes, I don't really know. Anyways, on there, nice touchscreen display here. So radio, FM, AM, digital, as you'd expect. Back to the home screen media you've got let's media i don't want to click in there media you've got obviously usb and auxiliary you've also got bluetooth as well so dead easy to connect your phone or your mp3 player bluetooth telephone drive in economical mode and then you've got your navigation as well just agree to that and i'll show you the map so nice crystal clear map there you go nice and easy to use as well it gives you loads of information on there it also gives you a bit of information about what radio station you're listening to and all sorts of stuff is built into there. It's a really cool system, actually. You've then got hazard lights and central locking button there. 
as you move it down you've got all your climate buttons so as you can see you've got your temperature so set your temperature click the auto button the computer will do the rest and just maintain that temperature for you i'm going to turn that off now just by adjusting the fan speed then you've got a quick demist in front window you've got a heated rear window different modes aircon and pollen filter is that one just there as you move down obviously i've shown you the key card already but you've got a power output a little bit more storage there you go five speed gearbox reverse off into the left cruise control and your eco mode down there manual handbrake as well so you can get your skids going that lifts up to a little bit of extra cup holders down there you've also got a bit of storage in here as well which is fantastic so loads and loads of kit on this one guys nice low mileage very very cheap to buy very very cheap to run rear parking sensors so it's nice and easy to drive easy to park um fantastic car get yourself down i've been sam I'll do you a fantastic deal. Come and see me. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.